Kent became the first side this summer to score a batting bonus point against the LV County Championship Second Division leaders Northamptonshire, with Mike Powell and Daniel Bell Drummond excelling on the opening day of their latest match as cricket returned to Canterbury before Trent Copeland led a visitors' fight back. James Treadwell won the toss and batted in the sunshine, only to lose Sam Northeast early as he was bowled by David Willey, who produced a peach of a delivery. The start was typical of what North Hants have done so far this season, in which they were denied victory against Glamorgan because of rain, before they thrashed both Essex and Gloucestershire. They were finding life just a little more difficult here as Rob Key and the informed Brendan Nash got the scoreboard ticking over. Nash had hit 350s and an undefeated 100 in his four championship innings this summer, but his good run came to an end when he was bowled by Stephen Crook, currently the country's leading wicket-taker. Nash made 18 and was followed back to the hutch by Key in the next over after he edged a drive off Copeland to the reliable Andrew Hall. That left Kent in a bit of a pickle on 55 for three just into the second hour, but the much-vaunted visiting attack was made to wait for an age for their next success. Kent have batted well so far this summer with Nash, Key and Powell amongst the runs and the former Glamorgan man now started to grind down Northamptonshire with Bell Drummond, the 19-year-old England under-19 player of whom so much is expected. And it's not hard to see why, given some of the shots he executed before lunch. That lunch would have tasted rather nice to Bell Drummond, playing in only his ninth first-class game and the more experienced Powell for whom this was his 233rd match. The pair complemented each other perfectly and produced some wonderful shots between them as Northamptonshire were given a bit of the medicine that they've been dishing out to others this summer. Bell Drummond has largely been used before as an opening batsman, but here he was finding no problem being in the middle order with Powell as they matched each other shot for shot. Powell was first to his 50, his second of the summer, and it came off 112 balls, eight of which had brought him boundaries. The way he'd batted, he looked set for the long haul. Bell Drummond, meanwhile, nervously spent 11 balls on 49, but another crashing cover drive, his best shot seemingly, got into the half-century mark for just the third time in his fledgling career and for the first time in the championship. His had come from 136 balls, that being his ninth boundary. And neither batsman gave it away then either. It wasn't always cricket at its most thrilling, but when these two played their shots, they did so with a flourish as they went to the tea break with their fourth wicket partnership standing at a very useful 140. But the last session belonged very much to the visitors. Nine more runs were added to take the total to 204 and to earn that first batting point when Powell edged a drive off Crook to go for 70. Cook was soon in the action again, this time to get rid of Bell Drummond. He'd made 68 when he pulled a short ball to mid-wicket at 213 for five. Treadwell and Geraint Jones then tried to restore their side's dominance. But having added 31, the innings rather fell apart thanks to Copeland and the second new ball. The Australian found plenty of pace and movement to catch the inside edge of Jones's bat as he went for 20. And he was then rather gifted a wicket as Matt Coles mistimed his flourishing drive and drilled the ball to Alex Wakeley at mid-off. Copeland then played a part as a fielder by clinging on to Treadwell's edge in the slips. Back with the ball in his paws, he now thanked Mark Davis for punching him into the hands of Stephen Peters. And it was a fifer for Copeland when he bowled Charlie Shrek with what turned out to be the last ball of the day. From 204 for three just after tea, Kent had been dismissed at the close for 271. That spell gave Copeland his first five-wicket haul as a Northamptonshire player, and between them now, the four Northampton seamers have taken 62 championship wickets already this season. They will hope that their batsmen do their job when they start their reply to Kent's 271 on the second morning.